watching NBC 7. 39. News at 11. Coming up, here's what you'll see. Monica Lewinsky asked to give handwriting samples to Kenneth Starr. Tonight, we take a look at what her writing says about her as a person. Viagra, it seems everyone wants it. Starr has asked the former White House intern for handwriting samples, fingerprints, and voice samples. Legal experts tell NBC News the voice samples will likely be used to confirm Lewinsky's identity on taped conversations with Linda Tripp. Well, the handwriting samples that Starr wants tonight will also be used to corroborate documents already taken in the case. We asked one expert tonight to take a look at handwriting said to be from Lewinsky. Dr. Robert says one note written in March shows Lewinsky likes being in control, but is depressed about having freedom. He says the why in one word shows that she's feisty. Who is usually very stubborn, go-getter, stick to the point, and like to have things their own way. And actually, not so much, not so much, hypersexual. She's not the type to be a space cadet or be somewhere else in La La Land. She knows exactly what she wants, and she, she accepts it and achieves it in a very practical way. You're watching KNSD News at 11. Coming up, here's what you'll see. From superstars to you and me, you'll not believe what our signatures and handwriting say about honesty. Well, all week long on NBC, you've been watching a special report called Lie, Cheat, and Steal, Dishonesty in America. How can you tell, though, if someone isn't quite truthful? Well, perhaps it's in the way they write their name. Marty's here now to explain. And there are plenty of skeptics, but it is all in the handwriting. The experts say they can tell everything about you just by looking at a writing sample, including if you might lie, cheat, or steal. Happy birthday. It showed up in every part of her existence. Marilyn Monroe oozed sensuality with every movement, with every word. I want to be loved by you. The diddly 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 dum. Boop boop doop. It even showed in her handwriting. You can see from the handwriting that there is a great deal of thinking that sexuality is a way to attract people. In her signature, the letter Y is written in such a way that the loop of the Y is going around the M. Michael Jackson's handwriting shows experts a definite contrast between his signature and text. The external appearance is of some glamour, grandiosity, and flamboyant, but underneath is very childish, depressed. Just stop talking around. Pretty easy, though. You don't even need handwriting samples to come up with these well-published traits. But handwriting experts contend they can pick anyone out of a crowd and give a complete analysis, including whether the person is honest. We wanted to learn some of the tricks of their trade. So we got handwriting samples from five nuns and samples from five convicted felons. We asked handwriting expert Dr. Robert to take a look. Without knowing who wrote them, Dr. Robert immediately picked out similarities in the samples from the nuns. It's almost like the... Um they have to observe what they do and how they do it. It wasn't what the nuns wrote that gave the clue. It was the fact that all of them had a firmness to their writing, a consistent size to their letters, and all the letters were connected. Also, he pointed out the way they cross some of the T's. And when you have a T crossbar on the top, it's someone got who's very ambitious on one hand, very good organizer, and someone who likes to do some spiritual um, endeavors. Not a dishonest person in the bunch. Then the psychologist noticed printing on some of the samples. Many, many times people who print in their handwriting, they're trying to conceal something, some information, almost in a subconscious way. And on another sample, margins so, which were almost non-existent. The very fact that he does not use right and left margin show that this is a person who wants to have it all for himself in a way. I just turned 25 years old, and I've been in that prison. I've been in prison three times. I want to get my life back on track. When Robert Woodward's life does get back on track, experts believe his handwriting will change accordingly. So the next time you sign your name, think about what you're projecting. It could say a lot about you. It could even say you're just like Donald Trump. Strong, powerful, and yet... The hiding of the name here definitely indicates someone who might hide information. 
Now, the handwriting analysts also look at individual letters to come up with dishonesty traits. Let, let me show you a couple of them. An A with a hook inside the open circle, according to the expert, says the person isn't always forthright. And this one, look at the tail of the Y. It goes straight down and then into a claw. They actually call it a felon's claw because in a study, more than 80% of incarcerated felons made a claw like that. Wild. Now, we've had a little fun with this, but more and more employers are taking handwriting analysis seriously. And more and more are using handwriting samples to pre-screen job applicants, which means depending on your writing in some cases, you may not get the job. You're watching NBC 7. 39. News at 11. Coming up, here's what you'll see. As you can see, the stem of the D is low, and uh, it's usually typical for people who, is, who are paranoid. To find out what Andrew Cunanan's writing says about him, we put a signature through a professional analysis. Celebrities on edge. Versace's murder shows their vulnerability. Tonight, see how some are taking safety to a more extreme level. You may recall, Cunanan left his signature at a pawn shop days before Versace was killed. Well, what does the handwriting say about him? Tonight, we asked a local expert to take a look. Paranoid, analytical, and intelligent. That's what Dr. Robert Bohn sees in Cunanan's handwriting. The stem of the D is low, and uh, it's usually typical for people who, is, who are paranoid. Paranoid is a person who is extremely sensitive to the way other people see them. They don't trust other people. The signature shows Cunanan is cunning, methodical, intelligent, has a high, high IQ, and is also very narcissistic. And the great deal of uh, narcissistic personality is if you hurt their self-esteem or you hurt their physique, then they can crash, and the crash can cause them to be aggressive and violent. He also says these personality traits are nothing new for Kunan, and their origins go way back. This is personality characteristic. Uh, personality characteristic, in other words, this sensitivity to other people and how they perceive him is probably par part of his character from a very early childhood. And he says he believes Kunanin is worried about being caught, but does not show fear. In Milan, Italy, the last of Kunanin's alleged victims was remembered publicly in a somber mass. Versace clothed the rich and famous. They, in turn, adored him. And today's stars turned out to remember a man they credit as a genius. Sting, Princess Diana, and Elton John sat in the...